Hey, welcome back YouTube. Um, today we're going to be looking at uh, Moss Defense Upper here. Uh, really awesome piece here. Um, but more importantly, we're going to be learning how to switch out your AR-15 gas block. Um, what's special about this one though, kind of a little review here. Um, <clears throat> Moss Defense, great company, but if you're looking for a cool way to get a, an upper with your kind of an upgraded barrel option, they offer, you can pick out your, your upper receiver and then what kind of handguard you want. They offer from just standard to the M-Lock rail, what do we have here? This is um, some sort of mod Gen 2 rail, but it's got a little Picatinny rail down here, Picatinny at the top, on the sides, bottom, full flat top, and then you have M-Lock sections all around here. And then, but you can upgrade to their highest quality barrel, which is a heavy barrel. It's um, fluted, so it's a stainless melanite fluted barrel. You can see the, the spiraling flutes there. But to get this, you're going from their, their just regular standard barrel that comes with this, and it's a $35 upgrade. So you're going from a $100, basically just under a $100 barrel, to their top of the line $180 uh, competition barrel. <coughs> and this is, people have reported to get uh, sub uh, one MOA groupings uh, at 100 yards and then about one inch to one and a half inch using high quality ammunition at 300 yards. So hopefully we get to test this out soon. But before we get started with changing the gas block, here's a couple tools that we'll need. You'll need a upper vise grip block here. This just snaps on here, holds it in place, doesn't mar the finish with the plastic or anything. Um, Loctite 242 blue, that'll be for these screws on the bottom here. Um, you're going to want your adjustable gas block. This is just a, a standard little gas block. Um, this comes from Joe Bob Outfitters. Great website, fantastic prices for any of your AR-15 parts. They also deal in other parts and magazines, firearms, all that stuff. So, but. They have very competitive prices, especially for their GBO products. Um, and then we'll need a couple different Allen wrenches here. This is a 764th. This is to get the handguard off. And then we need a 564th for these tiny screws down here. All right. Let's go get to the workshop and we'll get set up and let's do this. All right. So we got everything set up here. Um, I know it's kind of close, but first things first, we got to get this hand, hand guard off here. So I got to loosen these up. All right, with some Hollywood magic, we'll have it off and a snap. All right, so we got it off. Um, one thing, if you do go with this upper, there are the four clamp down screws that clamps down on this huge barrel nut. And then there's a couple set screws on each side there. Um, the, hopefully the camera picks those up pretty good. Um, but yeah, those hold it in place and it gives it zero rotation whatsoever. Um, now it's time to move down here a little bit. All right, so the next step is this pin right here. We got to knock that out. That pin is what keeps the gas block in place right inside there. So we're going to need a small punch and a hammer. Totally forgot about that. Be right back. All right. And if this is your first time doing this, you might want to get an extra gas tube pin just in case you happen to lose it or it doesn't fit the next gas block so it's snug and brand new. All right, got to get it lined up with the pin there. It'll come right on out. All right, so the next step, we got to put this over. There's a couple screws on the bottom there, and then this will come right on down the barrel. After, after we take this handy dandy flash hider off. All right, 
So now we got it flipped over, flash header's off. I mean, we gotta loosen up these screws here. So we're gonna need our 5 64th Allen key. These are gonna be a little snug at first. All right, there's one. There's two. Just be careful, careful of your gas tube. There we go. And there's the old gas block. So that's just a standard low profile gas block. Now we're going with the same one here, low profile, but this one's adjustable. So it's got that set screw right there and there. And that will regulate how much a gas is actually going up into the gas tube. We're gonna flip this back over so we can get a look at the top. And then we can, I'll show you how to line up your holes and everything and we'll get it started. All right, hopefully the camera picks it up. Uh, let's see. You can see there's a small hole right here. Here, I'll, I'll show you right there actually with my, right here, there's that hole. So this goes down inside the barrel right there. And so it brings the gas after following the bullet traveling out the barrel and up back to the gas tube and cycles lever. So what we need now is that we need to get this next gas block lined up here. Now your gas tube looks a certain way. You're gonna want it going from the low side and it goes up, kind of at a, an, an incline there. And you're gonna want the high side at the receiver end. Um, another little tricky part is this hole right here is where that roll pin is going to go through. So you got to get that lined up with this hole before you can continue on. I want to get this pinned in place. Um, if you're worried about your holes with the gas block and that little hole right there coming out the barrel, the hole on the gas block is actually about twice the size as that hole. Um, so you won't have to worry about that too much. We gotta get this going here. Here we go. Actually, I'm gonna get this lined up first. Okay, I've got it seated here. Let's get this going. Now we're gonna line this up. We want it as straight as possible here. Might be a little easier if we get it set first. So we're gonna flip this over. All right, so we got our block lined up. There is that little dimple right there, so we're gonna line up the first spot with that one. Now I would recommend using a little bit of this stuff right here, a little thread lock. We're just gonna put a little teeny tiny bit on these guys right here. All right, so you got a little bit of that little bit of the blue Loctite on there. <clears throat> Gonna wipe off the excess. You gotta remember, a little bit of this stuff goes a long way. So you just want to lightly coat the threads. For these, I would say it's less than a less than a drop for sure. And we want to crank these down nice and tight. All right, now all we have left to do is get that pin in place. So let's flip it around one more time and that'll be the last time actually. All right, so I'm holding that roll pin with a pair of pliers right there. So you can see that that's just cause it's so small 
that it's hard to get started with your just your hands. So we're gonna get this in place here. Be careful on the finish here. Then you're going to want to finish this up here with a small punch. All right, just make sure it's flush on both sides, which it is. And that's how you install an adjustable gas block. All done, set, and ready. All right. Good luck on yours. Hopefully this video helps someone out there. Um, I know it seems a little complicated at first. <clears throat> this is not my first time doing it. Just a little nervous in front of the camera, actually. But yeah, um, if you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, share it with somebody, an AR-15 guy that you know, maybe their first build or something, a little upgrade here and there. Um, next thing we'll be working on is switching this bad boy out for a nice muzzle break. So come back in a little bit, and uh, we'll see you to the next video. Take care. God bless us. God bless America. Thanks for watching.